Hi, uh, I've had a few questions about making an all-white uh, tiger, and I wanted to show that there's actually a few ways to do it, and one is definitely better than the other. So I'm going to show you both and show you uh, why you may want to pick the second method. So it may seem like the easiest way is to just take our orange slot and swap it to the white slot. And now we have a white tiger. But I'm going to slice it and show you why that's not the best idea. OK, so now we have our slice done. And we can see we have two different white sections with large flushing volumes, 81 grams on slot 2 and 175 grams on slot 1. So about 255 grams of, of flushing of white and 600 grams total filament use and about a day and 18 hours of printing. So I'm going to now do it the other way and we'll see the difference. The, the reason it's doing this is because uh, even though these two slots are set to the same filament, the, the slicer sees them as separate. So it's still uh, doing a filament swap from white to white when it switches in those different zones that were painted differently uh, originally. So, and you can still see seams between the white here where it's doing those swaps. So that's not ideal. So the better way is to, I'm going to switch this back, is to use the paint tool. So we'll select the object and hit the paint tool here. And we're going to go to the fill tool and turn the smart fill angle all the way to the right. And then basically just click on any uh, white area. I'm going to fill it all with orange and then switch it back to white at the end just because it's easier to see everything. Don't forget the little dots. Okay, we've got all the white gone. So now I'm going to switch slot 1 to the white again. And we'll slice that. OK, so now that slice done. And we can see the numbers are a lot different here. Um, our overall white flushing has, is now under 118 grams. It used to be 255 grams. Uh, for some reason, it still prints this slot 2 into the purge tower, I'm assuming. It's a very small amount of filament, uh, but our overall filament use dropped to 436. It used to be 600, and our print time dropped by 13 hours. So it's definitely worth uh, the, the extra step of doing that. And what's nice is also now we have a free slot so we could go back in and make the uh, the irises if you wanted to use full color you could go back in and paint the irises of the eyes another color so let's let's do that why not uh, so I'll go back in the paint tool and I'm gonna pick the orange and I'm gonna drop down our fill angle around here. And a cool trick with the fill angle is see the highlighting of the of the tool that's telling you what the fill angle is going to fill in. So if you put it over the eye, over the iris of the eye and hit control and scroll wheel down, you can see the this bar changes and right there between 30 and 29, you can see that highlight swap into the iris and then you just click it and it, it helps uh, make it easier to find that, that fill angle. And there's actually another little bit in here that I want orange there. And that's how I do the eyes. I, I leave this 
part white, it makes a cleaner iris cut. And so now we have a little bit of extra pizzazz. So I will slice that. Okay, so now that's done and we've added a little bit of extra time, not much, about an hour I think. I don't remember what that was before, but a little bit extra time, a little bit of extra filament use, but not too bad. And now we have our full white tiger. Uh, of course these numbers will vary depending on what print settings you're using and everything, but the uh, the amount of savings will be similar. So uh, I hope that helps.